Hey everybody, David here with TND Sports Cards. Welcome to a brand new video. And today I am very excited, um, as I usually am when I do videos, but uh, uh, I made a recent visit to my dad's and I was able to go through some of my, uh, my stuff there. And I found a bunch more uh, uh, unopened boxes and uh, kind of like a box that was uh, mixed with all kinds of uh, old unopened packs. And a couple of them, as you can see here, were from 1972 and these are uh, OPG. Um, I have uh, several of these actually along with uh, more from uh, from the 70s that I found as well so I'm very excited about uh, what we could be doing in the future here. Um, but today we're going to do uh, as you can see a couple of these packs from the 72 baseball and uh, this set is just loaded with uh, Hall of Famers. Uh, the, the major rookie in this set is the Carlton Fisk. Uh, that is the one big name that jumped out at me when I quickly went through the list. Um, I thought that opening these was a little more intriguing just because this year Topps' uh, heritage set is from 72. So I thought it might be fun to open up a, a couple of the uh, authentic ones from back then. Now I am a little nervous, I will admit, uh, I don't remember how far back it was, uh, four, five, six, eight months ago. Um, Eric Jabs, if uh, any of you are familiar or all of you are familiar with uh, Jabs Family Channel, he attempted to open a box of these and basically every pack was destroyed. I think he cut off the original video um, and then eventually he came back and just opened it for fun and uh, basically all the cards were destroyed uh, by the gum. Now, just a close inspection with these here, the cards seem to be moving around okay. So that made me feel a little encouraged, uh, but the, the gum on the top seems to not be moving. So the top card might not be in the best of shape, but I guess the only way we're really gonna find that out is if uh, is uh, literally by opening these. So uh, with that, let's uh, get into these and uh, keep our fingers crossed and hope we'll not only find some good cards, but uh, that they'll be in really, really nice shape. Uh, I'm very excited to open these. Uh, this is one of the many uh, sets from uh, the 60s and 70s that Topps made that uh, I really, uh, really think the design is great. Now, as I said, these are OPG, uh, which mirrors the top set. It's a little smaller there are 525 cards in this set. The top set, I think, had like 700 something because they actually did like a traded series at the end. So um, this does, is missing those uh, uh, from what I gather. So let's uh, see what we can find in here. As I said, there's going to be lots of uh, potentially lots of Hall of Famers. And I know these were released in series. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, I really don't know what series these are at all. Uh, and it looks like the gum is stuck to the front here. The gum came out of the pack very cleanly. Uh, this gum does not look too inviting here, but it actually is, oh, on this side it's popping off. You know, I'm not gonna try to tear it off. This is Ken Forsh. And the backs are, uh, as you would imagine, in uh, English and French, as uh, tops, uh, tops would just be English, OPG would be both, uh, much like the, uh, the hockey cards are. All right, so we did not get a, uh, you know, too big of a card there that has the gum stuck to it. So let's hope these all look pretty good. And this uh, next one here does look very good. So we have Steve Blass. Now what's the number, and this is 320, so this is probably, I guess this would be the third series. Uh, I believe that's uh, probably around uh, the number that would be third series. I think the second series is usually ending around like 264 or 268, something like that. Uh, we have Johnny Jeter of the Padres. And I'm not sure what this is here. Houston Post. Oh, this is a Billy Williams in action card. So that's nice. He, he, Billy Williams is uh, a Hall of Famer. And this card is actually centered pretty nicely, too. And they have uh, some of them, as you can sort of see on the edges here, they have like that rough cut that OPG was uh, kind of known for, at least uh, back at that time. 
So we have an inaction of Tito Fuentes. And we have Ron Cook of the Astros with uh, Shea Stadium serving as the background there. I had mentioned this in previous videos that uh, I feel like Topps just like set up camp, at least for the National League, at Shea Stadium and just took pictures of everybody there because so many cards uh, seem to be pictured there. And this is Ken Singleton when he actually played for the Mets. Played for the Mets for a very short period of time. That is a nice card there. And the backs really have uh, really no, no matchup, no coordination with the, uh, the actual uh, player on the front. And we have our first uh, a regular Hall of Fame card in Mr. Fergie Jenkins. And these cards are in really nice shape. This one's centered pretty well. It's a little off left to right, but yeah, these are these are super nice. And Bill Rigney, who was a manager for, uh, as you can see on the back here, it's uh, quite a long time he managed in the major leagues. All right, so that was our First pack, we did find a couple of Hall of Fame cards in there, one in action and one regular. And we got a, a boyhood photo of the stars, and this looks like, is that Mel Stottle? Yes, it's Mel Stottlemyre. And the gum came off on this one. Hmm. But look at the back of that card. That is not so good. I hope it didn't bleed through all the rest of them. Well, I'm not going to try to speculate at the moment. Okay, so we have, as I mentioned, uh, Mel Stottlemyre, Boyhood Photo of the Stars. He had a very good career. Don Pavlich. Bob Bailey, who I believe at one point did actually play for the Mets later on in his career. Tommy John, and, oh, and I can see gum bleeding through here on the bottom of this card, at least. Yeah, oh, that's too bad. Well, you know, that was uh, kind of a risk with these. Uh, finding them, I know that this set is kind of famous for that. Uh, obviously, when you have stuff sitting around for almost 50 years, it's uh, bound to kind of meld into its surroundings, the gum I'm speaking of. Okay, we have uh, Dick Dietz in action with gum swelling on the bottom there as well, gum stain. And we have a Lupinella, Boyhood of the Stars. Yeah, this card's really messed up. The Bobby Bolin. All right, and is there one stuck to this card? No, nope, this is the Bobby Bowling. Look, yeah, look at the gum bleeding through into this on the back here. And then this last one of uh, uh, Ellie Hendricks. Yeah, has definitely seen better days. Well, like I said, that was the um, kind of the risk you would run with these old packs sitting around with uh with with the gum the gum is uh going to meld through these cards have been stored in a basement in an attic in a basement in an attic i mean they've been all over i mean i don't know how long i've had these packs um i mean i've probably had them for over well i shouldn't say over i would say at least 25 years i was gonna say over 30 but probably not i probably purchased them sometime in the 90s because that was when i was doing a lot of my pack buying but uh, we found two, two Cubs here, two Hall of Fame Cubs, uh, Ferguson Jenkins and a Billy William, Williams in action card. So um, not too bad there uh, for the most part. I mean, the first pack was uh, pretty much in great shape other than the, uh, the Ken Forsh, who uh, has been, at least uh, his face has been cut in half. Um, so yeah, that was fun. It was a little nerve wracking. I'm actually pretty happy that uh, at least one of the two packs came out pretty good. And we'll see what happens with, uh, with the rest of them um, in the future. Uh, I'll probably hold off opening some of them for a while. But um, anyway, uh, this, was, uh, this was great going back and seeing the originals from this year. 
Um, if you are new to the channel, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, we'd love to have you follow along and uh, it helps uh, obviously support the channel. So um, we would definitely appreciate that. So um, thank you so much guys for watching. Um, as I said about four times already, I had a really good time opening these. I hope you did too. And um, we will probably see you coming up on Thursday, um, unless uh, you never know, something shows up uh, tomorrow. But uh, at, at, at least the case, we'll, uh, we'll definitely see you with a new video on Thursday. All right, hope everybody is staying safe and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.